The, the vision that we use internally is that we would like to be considered the most influential advisor to the engineering and construction industry. If we were to go to some of the most successful people and firms in the industry at the end of our careers or at some date in the future, and we were to ask them, who outside of your firm has had the greatest influence on your success as a firm or as an individual, we'd like them to say FMI. And if they say FMI has had the greatest impact on our firm outside anyone that's in it today or in our past, then we know we're pursuing that vision and maybe even catching up to it. Well, simply put, we have about four business challenges that we're focused on that we shape all of our goals and actions to at the corporate level and each of the business and corporate teams try to align themselves to. The first one is, as you can imagine, as a 65-year-old firm, we are now um, 175 people and growing, hopefully by the time you read this even further, um, that we have a, the issue that many American businesses have or many global businesses have, and that is we have aging baby boomers. So we've got a challenge of how do we as a firm step up and fill those big shoes of the people that over the last generation or two have really built this firm. We call that our succession challenge. And to meet that challenge, we have a talent strategy. And that talent strategy has been that we are accelerating the hiring of both early career as well as senior professionals for competency and growth. And we've been getting busy at developing all the competencies of all our employees to meet that succession challenge. The second challenge that we have is uh, really um, a growth challenge. And that has to do with the, face, the growing amount of competition and changing business models, the way people work, act, and think. We call that our model challenge, short for our business model challenge, that will enable us to grow and compete in the years ahead. So we are going from a highly entrepreneurial, tending to be more um, seller-doer, not that there's anything wrong with that approach. We have many strong sellers who also produce a lot of work and their, and their clients expect them to be heavily involved in delivery work. That's great, but it can't be the only way we go to market. We are shifting our emphasis away from that traditional hunter-gatherer, seller-doer, lone wolf model. We are adding to that uh, this mindset that we're going to become more uh, collaborative, team-based, and account-managed in how we go to market and serve clients. So each year we establish goals around becoming more fact-based and data-driven in how we operate as a firm in both how we manage our business ourselves, how we support our client solutions, and a really important to you as a new person, how we leverage our content. We're developing content management systems as we speak that will give you access to everything from uh, uh, consulting models, to past engagements, to uh, proposal documents, to the finished product that we deliver to clients, all in an attempt to um, uh, arm ourselves with the most relevant uh, intellectual property and knowledge that we have. Our last challenge or goal that we are being mindful to is the fact that as our clients in our industry becomes more globalized and a lot of our clients become larger and more sophisticated, they have left the U.S. and Canada and they're operating in, on multiple continents in multiple countries. And, and we think of that as a global challenge. If we want to be the most influential advisor to the industry, then as our clients and our industry globalizes and come, becomes more sophisticated, then we've got to increase our global perspective and extend our global reach or our international reach. We've done that in the last couple of years by moving into Canada and on an increasing basis, we've taken some assignments that we've gone international with both uh, U.S. and foreign clients to serve their needs in countries outside the U.S. and Canada. We would expect more of that in the years to come. And each year, we, we focus not only on our Canadian growth and strategy, but on making sure that we are looking for ways to extend our global perspective and international reach. And over the coming decade, uh, we'd like to see ourselves extend that impact further. You know, to be successful here, uh, you know, our expectation at FMI is that uh, you're going to fully participate in your job. This is a professional services firm. Everyone here, regardless of role, is a professional. By doing your best and being great at FMI, we can help you grow in your career and achieve your own personal goals through time, whether they're here at FMI or somewhere else that it will take you over time. We want best for you, and while you're here, we want you to be great. If you're watching this video, that tells me you chose to join the firm. We think we made a good choice. 
we hope you feel the same way too. So after you've gotten acclimated to your surroundings, you feel a part of your team, we'd love your feedback. I'd love to know, do you feel you made a good choice? Whether you do or you don't, let us know. I look forward to hearing from you.